Diana's moving things in, as we mentioned, and uh, one of the hardest things, especially with her situation, is the loss of a loved one and wanting to know what to keep, what to put away. What do you suggest? Those are some tough individual decisions that need to be made. So what you want to do is you want to pick out your favorite memories and have a spot in the house where you written memories and have a spot in the house you can display them. So if you have enough room for an entire trunk where you can keep a treasure trove of memories, then have items there in that trunk. Or you can have a spot in each room of the house where you can display a fond memory. You don't want something that brings back bad memories. You want fond memories out. Yeah, that's the toughest part part is mm -hmm. if you've got so many uh, of your loved one's belongings, mm -hmm. what do you do? You know, do you, do you donate some of these things? What do you keep? Mm -hmm. And I see over here, Helene, mm -hmm. an example of right. what you're talking about. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right above the fireplace on the mantle there, there are some very special photographs. And so that's a wonderful way to honor your loved one and have that cherished memory out there where you can see it. And so when you're going through belongings, you want to think back to when you have little kids and you had to choose their best artwork from kindergarten, their best artwork from first grade, because you couldn't keep all 200 finger paintings all the time. That's the same thing you want to do with your loved one. What best represents the kind of person they were? What brings a smile to your face? That's what you want to hang on to. And then, yes, as you mentioned, go ahead and donate the rest. There's Goodwill. There are a lot of great nonprofits out there who could put those items to good use. So these tips can really apply to a lot of people. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing you have to go through no matter what you're going through, any kind of clutter. It's just that this is more emotional because you're dealing with the loss of a loved one. Yeah.